I was always the guy that would have uh, a drum set in my house, the bass amps and the bass and the guitar and the guitar amps and the Marshall Haas stacks. We just started making up stuff on the spot and she started singing and dancing to it. So I pressed record. I can't keep up with the TikToks and Facebooks and Twitters. and. Welcome to the DRC, the Dad Rock Collective for Dads Who Rock. One of the greatest musical moments in my life was a time when I was playing a rockabilly song that I wrote and uh, I turned around and there was Winter just bouncing up and down, totally grooving with the beat, squealing and laughing and um, it really, it, it, it melted my heart uh, and like I said, forever be probably the, one of the greatest moments of me playing music. Uh, so when I saw Dave playing music with his daughter on a YouTube channel, or I guess it was a Facebook post, uh, I had to check it out, and, and when I saw it, Dave writing these songs with his daughter, it, it really spoke to me. So I had to talk to him about it, and uh, here's the interview I did with Dave talking about uh, the music that he created with his daughter and put on uh, YouTube. This is called Rock and Roll Style on our, on our YouTube channel. Okay. I'm here with my friend Dave Penny. How you doing, Dave? I'm fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. The reason why I'm talking to you today is I love the videos you put out with your daughter. It was pretty amazing. Really inspired me a lot. Heartfelt, actually. I'm sure I choked up the first time I saw it. Tell me a bit about the, the website that you've put up. Sure. It's just so that's something that happened quite recently. A friend of mine in Alberta, he's encouraging me to try to play more got me thinking, you know, I really should. I mean, I got the guitars sitting over there, they're just, you know, collecting dust and I just don't play as much as I used to. So a couple of weeks ago, I picked up the guitar. So I made up a couple of clips uh, for fun and I sent it back to him and we got chatting. Of course, you know, my youngest little girl heard me doing this. She came downstairs and she's uh, quite an interesting uh, little girl. She really likes to perform, she likes to sing, she likes to dance and she's very uh, confident. We just started making up stuff on the spot and she started singing and dancing to it. So I pressed record that first night. I think we have four different songs now that we've done in the last couple of weeks that we just made up on the spot, unedited, uh, unscripted, and people have uh, seemed to like it. So that kind of led to uh, posting on the Facebook and people liking it. So that's kind of where it started. It happened really naturally, not, again, not forced. Yeah. It's something that obviously she, she enjoys doing, and so do I. Right. So how did that feel? Because I imagine it must have felt just, you know, your heart must have exploded at some point. It felt pretty cool uh, to see her actually sing and feel kind of, I could see she knew when to come in and I would kind of help her come in and she kind of knew, you know, what parts to sing. And then there's even some kind of harmony happening at some point. I didn't really know what it was going to be like until it was done and I listened to it back again. And it sounded pretty neat. What has the response been like? It's been good. Like I said, I posted them up on uh, Facebook because we have family in Newfoundland and we also have family up north in Nunavut. So they're very much interested in what our kids are doing. So I just fired them up and uh, got lots of views and lots of likes. So just maybe a little bit about you. What was your music like growing up? Your music, uh, what kind of music did you play? What was your, did you play in bands, that kind of thing? I guess I was introduced to music quite young, but it was rap music. I got into rap and the beats and I really enjoyed the beats and the timing of things. It wasn't really until, I think I was like grade eight, so however old that is. I think from listening to the rap and the beat, I've always had a good ear for music. So my dad gave me a classical guitar. At that time, um, I was moving out of liking rap music more into grunge and nirvanas of the world. So I started playing along with you know, nirvana songs. <laughs> Kept playing, picking away at it. Got into high school, met some other kids in a new school that were into music like I was. Eventually got a band going on called Ritual. We play Tool, Rage Against the Machine, even some Black Sabbath and 
Iron Maiden, that type of music, I guess, at the time. So that was really the only band I was ever in. We only played one show. The show went over really well. That was really the only band I, I've ever been in. And from that point on, it's more of just jamming with friends like yourself or just picking up a guitar here and there and playing. I play a lot less electric guitar now, more just pick up the acoustic and play because it's more convenient. So that's kind of it. That's kind of where it started. It brings me to today, I guess. Awesome. Has having a family affected music for you? Yeah, 100%. I was always the guy that would have uh, a drum set in my house, with the bass amps and the bass and the guitar and the guitar amps and the Marshall half stacks. I, even when I moved north, I had a Marshall half stack and a Les Paul down in my rec room and uh, my son was six months old and it just wasn't working out. <laughs> so, uh, you know what, at some point, I think you gotta, you know, park that type of a thing if you just can't accommodate it in your life at that time. So the drums went away for a while. The uh, half stack went away. I downsized to make room for play areas or so I wasn't waking anybody up <laughs> at nighttime. So yeah, it definitely impacted my time and my, I'll say my interest level in music because once you have a family, obviously you have brand new, more important interests, but I wouldn't trade it for anything, obviously. Now family's actually influencing your music in a different way, in a, in a you know, adding to it, you know, with these songs, yeah. right? I think now seeing that my daughter is, seems to enjoy it and she seems pretty good at it. Like she'll make up words and sing and... and dance and she likes performing so this is probably the rebuild i'll call it we've had a bit of a, a break over the last 10 years this is turning into something brand new which is totally fine by me that's pretty awesome you know especially during this time you know with covid and everything that you get to, we get to spend time together and this is something that you've got to do with that so i, I think that's really awesome mm -hmm. do you want to tell us about the youtube channel yeah so a couple people said i should have a youtube channel set up or my daughter so I thought why not it might be an easy place just to put put the videos up there so that's what I did and I know she was interested in a YouTube channel that's the cool thing to do I guess these days or maybe it's not anymore I don't I can't keep up with TikToks and Facebooks and Twitters and YouTube channel is still something that I I guess it's popular with the kids so um, I know my kids have talked about it so I said why not we have some content uh, we have something that we can actually put on the channel. So I created a channel called Nivi Rocks, N-I-I-V-E, Rocks. And that's just where we're going to start posting all of the uh, the stuff that um, that we do. As soon as I saw that, I, I my heart melted. I thought it was wonderful. The thought of, you know, dad singing with his daughter. And uh, and she was wonderful, too. And you're, you're right. I really think she's got some talent. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's very obvious. She's coming up with these words. And I heard the harmonies you were talking about. I'm like, holy cow, this is, you know, blown yeah. away. So I think it's a great thing that you've done. Thanks a lot for doing this, Dave. I hope we see some more music out of you and your daughter appreciate you having me on and certainly will be a new material coming our way very very new near future awesome thanks a lot dave take care thank you bye now Rocky.